Grandpa, I was wondering why my G-Mobile works the way it does. Excellent question, sweetheart. Let's open the hood so I can better explain what is going on. We're going to focus on one of the four modes to prokaryotic transcription regulation, specifically negatively controlled inducible operon. I'm going to start with a little overview, then get more specific. So you have two different types of proteins, activators or repressors, that bind to DNA. In your car, yours is negatively controlled because a repressor is a protein that binds to your specific car DNA, which is produced by a regulator gene. Once a repressor protein binds, it slows down transcription, such as when your car slows down to break. What makes this regulation induction is because when a small molecule, also referred to the effector, binds to a protein, specifically the repressor in this case, transcription would increase because it no longer blocks the RNA polymerase from its landing block, the promoter. I also want to explain what an operon is. An operon is a segment of DNA that contains controlling regions and is structural genes controlled by those controlling regions. In your case, you have a lack operon. It's usually turned off unless a small molecule binds to it to allow transcription to occur, as I told you earlier. Notice this first example does not have lactose present. So the regulatory gene, LACL, will code for the repressor, which is the active regulator protein we need for transcription. The operator, LACO, blocks RNA polymerase from transcribing the gene. So no protein products will occur thus far, but it will interact with the repressor. However, no transcription will occur. Our repressor needs a small molecule attached to it so that we can change the U shape to a more round shape so that nothing can stop RNA polymerase to transcribe so that transcription can occur. The promoter, LACP, which is the landing pad for the RNA polymerase, binds the RNA polymerase to allow transcription to occur. Once the small molecule is rounded so that the repressor protein cannot attach to the DNA, RNA polymerase can now transcribe, giving us three structural genes, beta-galactosidase, permease, and transactylase. These three structural genes are transcribed and translated and produce lactose, glucose, and galactose. Notice the lactose is present as well, and that is because when lactose is present, some of it is converted into a lactose. If lactose is present, we will get the operon induced to be turned on. However, if it's not present, the operon will be repressed, which will inhibit transcription. Now, this is with wild-type activators and repressors, such as IPOZYA, all of which have been mentioned in my explanation and were present in the diagrams. Notice the presence of a small molecule will allow transcription to occur versus when it won't without its presence. I'm going to give you another example outside of your car, including your dog. So you go to the dog park with your puppy, and there's a dog that continues to chase after the same ball as your dog. You only want your dog to get the ball since she needs the exercise, and she tends to stop fetching with you if another dog is involved. You know that the other dog would definitely go after a frisbee more, so you find a frisbee and throw it for the other dog so that your dog can chase after her own ball by herself. What kind of regulation is this and why? So my dog playing fetch will be the transcription that I am trying to get to. However, the other dog keeps getting in her way, making that dog the repressor. Thus, making the frisbee I found to throw to distract the new dog would be in the inducer. This would make this just like what I learned about grandpa. So it'd be negative controlled inducible regulation. Yes, you got it right. Great job. Here are my resources.